Hi smart people, my name is Karol and this is Ads Courses, a channel where I share with you their digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. In this video, I will share with you my top 10 most important and useful Excel and Google Sheets formulas that will make your life as a pay-per-click specialist a lot easier and more efficient. You won't waste any of your precious time on boring and repetitive tasks. If you find my videos helpful and interesting, consider to hit the subscribe button now. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first function is named concatenate. And this function simply merges data from different cells or data from different cells with custom text, for example. And you can use this function, for example, when you create ad texts, like headlines, descriptions, etc. Or when you name your campaign structure, ad groups, names, or campaign names. So I will show you an example of that right now. Okay, so I've got this simple template Excel file. Of course, you can use this function in Google Sheets. And as you can see, I have my ad group names in here, campaign names in here, and I want to create headline one, which will be simply the product name. So I want to merge ad group with campaign. So as you can see here, I've got this formula, concatenate, and let's create it from scratch, okay? So that you will understand. So equals concatenate and my headline will be simply the product name so it will be ad group plus shoes okay so running shoes this is not correct uh, of course what we want to do now is add a space in between this and when you enter a string you need to enter it just like this okay so we've got running shoes and you can add a custom text of course into your formula so let's do this right now let's add by at the beginning of a headline so it will be buy hiking shoes for example so it's a string buy okay let's add a space in here okay right so we've got buy running shoes buy hiking shoes etc this is a simple example with you know several ad groups but if you would have hundreds or tens of ad groups it will make the whole process a lot faster another example is in here the page path so we've got concatenate we've got ad group We've got this sign and we've got campaign name in here, right? So we've got our page path one like this. Okay, so that's a simple example of how to use concatenate functions. But you can also use it, like I said, while creating ad group names, campaign names, or campaign structure, right? There are, of course, many other situations when you, you would want to use concatenate functions, but I can't cover all of them. You need to be creative. Another function is VLOOKUP. And this function will simply search for a custom data in a column or in a table and search for a custom data in a column and search for the same text in another table and give you the column that you want it to give. So in this example, uh, what we want to do, we've got here, we've got a table, we've got a product set, right? A campaign name and a final URL. And what we have in this table is we have add text, right? We've got headline one, headline two, header three, etc. But we didn't have the final URLs for these, all of these ads. And there are a lot of ads in here. So doing this by hand, not the best option. What we want to do is we want to use the lookup function to search for this 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 is these are actually the campaign name right so let's search for this name in right this table in here in these two columns and here we have two so this is the column name that we want to uh, generate in here and false means we want it to be a exact match right exactly the we we want to search for this in here exactly right so it will search for for example bold caps campaign in here and it will give you the final url of bold caps in the column d okay so as you can see uh, the urls are generated in here because we have urls in here with campaign names but here we only have campaign names without urls so it generated these urls for us very very useful function for many many different situations this is just an example another very cool function that is available in google sheets it's google translate and this function uses google translate functionality to translate text in google sheets in bulk so let's see this in an example okay so i've got this simple very simple uh, file here and i've got keywords in polish and here i want to translate these keywords 
right? And I could do it in Google Translate, but there's a better way to do it using Google Translate function. So this is how it goes. Equals Google Translate. Here it is. Now you select your text that you want to translate. So it will be this, this one. Okay. Now, now you enter your language that this text is in. So it will be Polish, PL, right? And now the language that you want to translate it to. So it will be, for example, English. Make sure to enter the languages in the double quotations. Okay, so enter and here it is. Let's just, you know, copy it down and we've got our texts translate. Okay, so we've got caps, hoodies, etc. Okay, so there is a, actually a mistake in here. This actually works pretty well. It may take some time if you have a lot of data to translate it, but it, you know, it's like two minutes maybe. So if you optimize campaigns in a language that you actually don't speak, this function may help you a lot. Okay, another function that is actually a functionality, a huge, huge functionality, is query functions that are available in Google Sheets. And this is actually very powerful. I won't cover it and I won't show you what it's about in this video, but because this is a huge topic that I will record a separate videos about it, maybe even a complete series about it. But query functions, uh, they allow you to use powerful database code, something like SQL, for example, the code used to communicate with databases, like SQL, to manipulate your data in Google Sheets, and it's super powerful, of course. So if you're familiar with SQL, this is something like a SQL in Google Sheets. So this is a, actually a demo file where we use these query functions in a different different way. Okay, so we've got our query function. You can use it to select where and where, to group by, to pivot, to order by, to generate headers, etc. And there are many, many more. So this is a huge topic and very, very powerful tool in Google Sheets. Okay, a fifth one is sum ifs. So this function will actually sum for you, but based on a criteria that you enter. So in this example, I've got, you know, the dates, campaign, channel, geographical region, costs, conversions, etc. And let's say I want to, you know, in this example, we are summing costs from cells in column E, so in costs, right? But only if the corresponding values in column D, C and D, so channel and geo, are Bing and, and CO. So these are the criteria, right? So this, uh, this is our uh, function, sum ifs. Okay, so we've got our criteria. These are the criteria, right? So let's let's select costs from column E. Let's select only Bing data from column C and only CO from column D and, and sum the costs. Okay, so this, this is the result from this. So this function is actually very useful for reporting. Okay, another functionality, because this is actually not a function uh, in Excel or Google Sheets, this is a functionality, are pivot tables. And they are great for reporting purposes. And I will show you a simple example right now. Okay, so this is a simple pivot table. So we can generate data from, uh, for example, Google Analytics or Google Ads into Excel. And you can create pivot table to create reports like this. And they are actually interactive. So you can group your data, for example, like this. So we've got dates and we've got, you know, metrics like clicks, impressions, sets, CPC, costs, etc. And you can expand this and see campaign name, for example, on this date and results for each campaign. And you can add actually, you can add filters in here. So this is actually good for reporting purposes and to analyze aggregated data. Another function, very simple function is len function. And this function, you can use it mostly in creating ads. And actually, if you want to see the length of a text of certain ad elements like headlines, descriptions, because in Google Ads they have a limitation when it comes to characters limit. Okay, so for example, let's create this function in here. So it's len and select the data and it counts the length of this text, right? As you know, you know, headlines in Google Ads have a limit of 30 characters. So you could even create, a, for example, conditional formatting, right? So let's create a conditional formatting for this when the number is greater than 30, right? This is very simple and it will be red. Okay, there are no red in here, but if we would change this, for example, it will highlight this 
because it's too long. Okay, another very powerful function is if function. And this is a very powerful function. You can use it in different situations. I will show you the, actually the very advanced situation uh, in a bidding system that I've created. And of course, you could create a very simple functions in Excel that will you know, decrease or increase your bids based on you know, like conversion costs or ROS. Like for example, okay, if the conversion cost is higher than $10, decrease the bid by 10%. Or if it's smaller, then increase the bids. And very simple but there are many more metrics that you would need to you know if you want to do it the proper way to take into account like for example conversion volume on or costs or ctr or you know here it's the average position but it's not available right now so you would uh, use top of a page rate for example and this is actually here you can find my if function that i created it's very very complicated and very long but this function actually takes into account all of the metrics like CTR, CPL, average position, conversion volume, and costs. And it changes the bids based on these criteria. You know, it decreases, increases, it depends for each, actually, each keyword. But you can, of course, use this function to solve more basic problems, of course, but this is very powerful. Another one is left and right function. And this function will actually trim your text from left or from right with the number of characters that you input. So, for example, in here, I want to create campaign names from these keywords. And this is maybe not the best example of using this function, but you will know what I mean. Okay, so we don't have this campaign names in here. So let's write it from scratch. So it will use the left function from this, and it will take 13 characters from left. Okay, so we've got our campaign names, for example. Another example is a right function. So in this example, we want to only take four characters from right to left to have, a, for example, an ad group. Okay, so as you can see, this is not perfect. We need to modify it a little bit in some cases. But this is an example of using left and right function. Another very simple functionality is transpose. And what transpose does is simply, it switches your columns with rows. So for example, we have this column campaign and channel and rows are the campaign names and channel names so let's take this data for example let's copy it and here we want to transpose it so let's right click and here it is transpose and it will paste this data but it will treat each row as a separate column sometimes this function is actually very powerful this isn't a function but a functionality but it's very uh, useful okay I hope that these formulas and tricks will make your life easier so that you can spend more time on strategy and analysis. If you have any questions or want to share your ideas, you can do this in the comment section below. If you don't want to miss any other of my videos, simply subscribe. That's all for today. Bye.